know, to be a, uh, an Old Testament uh, prophet or a, a New Testament prophet, you know, 2,000 years ago or, uh, or even today, you know, is not always an easy task. Um, you know, today we hear the prophet Amos uh, telling the priest Amaziah that he wasn't a prophet, nor did he belong to a company of prophets. Um, you know, what we have to remember is that uh, being a prophet at the time of Amos, or uh, even for many today, had become a job. And perhaps a, a well-paying job at that. You know, people were willing to sign up for this kind of work. Uh, Amos wanted to let his listeners know that he was called by God to testify, to prophesy. Uh, he didn't uh, choose to be a prophet. You know, instead God had uh, placed this uh, frightening responsibility on him, and you know, he would rather not have done it. Uh, but you know, when God asks you to go and prophesy uh, to his people, you know, it's kind of hard to say no. Um, the gospel teaching today comes from that same type of prophetic teaching being sent. You know, the basic lesson is that if uh, people don't want to hear what you have to say from God, then you move on to those who are interested. Um, so much of, of what is taught uh, today in our Catholic Church is, uh, is surely prophetic uh, in the sense of proclaiming the truth, uh, which it has done from the beginning, that is, of uh, proclaiming God's uh, word in scripture and in his church. You know, unfortunately, uh, proclaiming these truths is less and less accepted by uh, civil authority and even uh, society in general, um, just as it was rejected in the days of Amos and uh, also of the apostles, uh, for that matter, uh, even those who claim to be members of the church, you know, they don't want to hear her uh, clear teachings proclaimed. They want the church to change with the times. But we know that if something was true 2,000 years ago, it's true today. Um, we have uh, many conflicting uh, voices in our uh, modern world, you know, many of them claiming to show that God wants us to walk in entirely uh, new directions than, than what the church has been teaching from the beginning. Um, fortunately, faithful Catholics have always, you know, accepted and believed in the teaching authority of the church. Uh, that teaching authority today is a prophetic voice in the midst of chaos and, and confusion. And because that teaching authority is so clear, you know, the forces of a modern society are working with uh, great efforts to destroy any acceptance of teaching authority within the Catholic Church. Even the media today is... Uh, constantly uh, taking uh, statements from Pope Francis out of context and uh, twisting them into something that they want him to be saying. Um, you know, perhaps for uh, all of us, the basic lesson in today's readings is that uh, once we have faith in Jesus, we will listen to the church he founded and not let the world or political parties or scandals and sins of people in the church 
pull us away from the, uh, the truth proclaimed by God through his church.